2019 Vauxhall Viva Rocks review. Positioned below the Adam and Corsa models in Vauxhall's range, the Viva Rocks is predicated heavily within the regular Viva City car and commands a somewhat higher price tag. The notably changes such as a restyled front and back end, chunkier side skirts plus the addition of roof rails, 18mm extra ground clearance, new 15-inch alloy wheels plus a revised interior. Available in a single trim level, based for the regular Vivas say A, C spec, and boasting almost identical performance, Vauxhall expects the Viva Rocks to draw in a comparatively young driver on account of its builder, more utilitarian styling that taps into the growing requirement for SUVs. Direct rivals add some Suzuki Ignis, Kia Picanto X-Line plus the Fiat Banda City Cross. Questionable affordable. There's a typical SP watch of ordinary equipment about the Viva Rocks, including aircon, electric front windows and cruise control, yet it doesn't compare well on the regular Viva. At enough time of writing a Viva SL can be purchased for less money compared to the Viva Rocks despite it boasting additional kit for example, Vauxhall on Star, dual zone climate control plus a leather tyre. Other niceties, like heated front seats. Lane departure warning and rear parking sensors may be added at extra expense. Mixed bag of practicality. Like the normal Viva, the Viva Rocks has enough room for four adults, five for a pinch, due to its boxy shape plus a well packaged interior. However, it's not the Tata so be ready to make compromises if any one of your exceptionally big build is being placed in the cabin. Interior storage area is adequate although note there aren't any rear door pockets. Disappointingly, the Viva Rox's luggage capacity can't match up for the capacious cabin. With just 206 litres of boot space using the rear seats up, it does not match the Suzuki Ignis, Fiat Banda City Cross, Kia Picanto and Skoda City Go. Fold the trunk seats down and there's a far more competitive 1,013 litre capacity, whether or not they don't fold flat. Surprisingly good they are driving. Out within the road the Viva Rocks is impressively well-rounded and easy drive an automobile. The 75 horsepower 1.0 litre three-cylinder motor feels gussy enough out and provides a characterful engine noise. Motorway drives will probably be less enjoyable, however, because of the shortage of outright power. The five-speed manual transmission is often a joy make use of which has a nice short action and slick, snappy gear changes. Fuel economy is really a claim 60.1 miles per gallon average, 2.7 miles per gallon less as opposed to Viva's. Thanks to its tall profile and raised ride height the Viva Rox's body leans noticeably through corners, even if it doesn't stop the vehicle from feeling safe and stable, even if pushed. The overall ride comfort can be a touch firmer than you could possibly expect, however, not so much regarding make the Viva Rocks feel uncomfortable. Cabin isn't premium, but feels well built enough. If you're longing for an improvement about the regular Viva's interior quality then you'll be disappointed. Despite its higher price tag the Viva Rocks continues to have by and large the identical functional, solid but cheap feeling cabin. Barely any advanced safety kit. It might sound harsh marking a major city car down due to the lack of advanced safety kit. Quite a few the Viva Rox's rivals now come together with the option of technology which could detect and potentially avoid a collision. The Viva Rox, meanwhile, could only offer lane departure assist as a possible optional extra. One engine choice. 1.0 litre petrol produces 75 horsepower. Excellent 5 speed manual gearbox. The Vauxhall Viva Rox is accessible with one engine, single 0 litre three-cylinder petrol producing 75 horsepower and 95 newton meters of torque. It's enough to get the vehicle up to speed in and about, but the absence of outright grunt might be an issue on faster roads in which the Viva Rox feels underpowered. A 106 miles per hour top speed and 0 to 62 miles per hour duration of 13.1 seconds attests to the present. Besides the ultimate deficiency of power the naturally aspirated engine, no turbo or supercharger, is easy drive an automobile and is usually good fun when worked hard. 
throttle solution is excellent as well as the offbeat engine note is pleasingly characterful. Sweet 5 speed manual transmission. Changing gear inside the Viva Rocks is usually a pleasant experience as a result of a slick and snappy 5 speed transmission. It's an authentic bonus, especially since the low power output means you will need to work the gearbox hard to discover the most out of that 1.0 liter engine. Light steering is usually a bonus out partying. But it restricts the fun when from the jaw horse. Sport RS makes a somewhat better fist of things. Rivals for example the Mini Hatch and also the Audi A1 are better plus much more engaging to drive compared to the Vauxhall Adam. Even although large many city centric buyers will enjoy the light steering, the not enough feedback takes every one of the sense of enjoyment far away from keener drivers. Through the corners if you don't or no lean when driving enthusiastically but as a result of the insufficient information on the steering there is a constant feel truly at one using the car. Cars specified with 17 or 18 inch trims come using a sport chassis as standard and is particularly meant to give the auto crisper steering. Unfortunately, all it gets can be a firmer ride as opposed to sweeter handling, so expect you'll be jolted about more. Vauxhall has engineered the Atom having a UK specific steering system that is tuned to get more twisty, lumpy British roads. In truth, you'd be hard pressed to express to, such may be the vagueness of that communication while using driver. Things can be a little better with all the Atom S that is much better to hustle around, however that absence of feedback prevents it from truly sating the driver inside manner a somewhat larger Fiesta ST does. Small cars must be as much fun drive an automobile as they are to consider, even so the Adam simply isn't. Simple and rugged feeling cabin. Clear dials and controls. No reach adjustment on tyre. Hop when driving of the Vauxhall Viva rocks and you're simply presented that has a functional, or even terribly exciting cabin. All from the major controls and switches are common easy to understand and operate with or without the optional 7.0 inch infotainment touch screen fitted. It most likely are not the last word in design flair, but there's still some nice touches for example the sporty looking tyre and subtle chrome inserts. There's a nice cohesion to where things are fitted, too, effortlessly controls profiting from an uncluttered, logical layout. Average interior quality. The standard of materials used inside the Viva Rocks cabin is part of the course for an American city car. There undoubtedly are a few nice elements, yet to the most part it's cheap and robust with lots of hard plastics. Viva Rocks drivers shouldn't get major concerns over the automobile's cabin lasting the course, primarily switches and controls feeling durable enough for the purpose the most of models should go through in their lifetime. Comfortable seat but controls could do with more adjustment. The Viva Rocks is sold with driver's seat height adjustment as standard, an extra on a tiny city car this way, however does with virtually no reach adjustment for the leader. This means exceptionally tall, short drivers may find it difficult to get fully comfortable as to what is an otherwise relatively spacious and comfy cabin. Touch screen infotainment systems optional. One optional extra worth considering will be the R4.0 IntelliLink system that replaces the common, and dated looking, R300BT radio interface having a 7.0 inch color touch screen, including dub radio and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto connectivity. SatNav can be acquired at extra expense, however Apple Maps and Google Maps is usually used with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto respectively. Aside in the additional features offered using the R4.0 IntelliLink system, large touch screen and surrounding buttons help have the Viva Rox's cabin look a lot more premium. Reasonable ride comfort. Comfy seats and decent amounts of room. Lots of road and wind noise around the motorway. In its natural urban environment the Viva Rox boasts decent numbers of ride comfort whether or not it is usually a touch firmer than could well be ideal over bumps and potholes. For the most part, however, it's well controlled and absorbent, carrying out a good job of keeping the degrees of body roll down, the place that the body of the auto leans outside of corners. Unless you're working the engine hard, 
The 1.0-litre motor stays reasonably quiet with only an offbeat three-cylinder thrum present at low speeds. However, to obtain the most out of the auto you do must rev the engine considerably, with all the resulting noise predictably noticeable. It's not unpleasant, mind, nor can it be unusual for just a car with this class. Road noise and wind noise are respectable if you do not take the Viva rocks over a motorway or a road. The car's high-sided design means it could pick up the wind easier than many of the rivals, and you'll should turn the air up high to drown out of the elements. Standard fit cruise control and aircon, plus optional heated seats should make journeys easier. Average equipment levels. Not just as much as similarly priced Viva. Vauxhall's OnStar service optional. Standard Vauxhall Viva Rock City car equipment. Just one trim level means a relatively straightforward equipment list, including Aircon Driver's seat height adjustment Heated, electrically adjustable door mirrors 15-inch alloy wheels Cruise control Trip computer R300BT radio including USB and Bluetooth connectivity Front fog lights Emergency Tire Inflation Kit Silver Effect Roof Rails Vauxhall Viva Rocks Hatchback Accessories Should you want there's many optional accessories to be had, including a number of 10 different exterior paint colors. Other available kit has a spare wheel, instead in the Emergency Tire Inflation Kit, Lane Departure Warning, Rear Parking Sensors, Vauxhall on Star Personal Connectivity and Service Assistant including onboard Wi-Fi, automatic crash response and 24-hour assistance, winter pack, including heated seats and tire, satnav and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Yet being tested by Euroncap. All cars consist of plenty of airbags. Lane departure warning optional. The Vauxhall Viva rocks, and regular Vauxhall Viva on what it's based, is yet to get tested by Euroncap meaning it doesn't already have an official safety rating. All cars feature an assortment of airbags and lane departure warning, really the only piece of high-tech safety kit, available just as one option. This lags behind rivals like the Kia Picanto X-Line and Suzuki Ignis, each of which offer autonomous emergency braking, uh, just as one optional extra. How many iSofix baby car seats can I easily fit into a Vauxhall Viva Rocks hatchback? With two isofix mounting points for the outer rear seats, the Viva Rocks ought to be able to accommodate two child seats with relative ease, although don't trust getting anyone bigger than an infant inside the middle seat at exactly the same time. Average passenger space. Storage space tight from the back. Two isofix points. Up front there's enough space for two main reasonably large adults regardless of the Viva Rocks compact dimensions. Just beware when the person inside passenger seat is very tall their knees may stray close to your gear lever, creating some potentially awkward moments of physical contact. Room inside the back is sufficient to accommodate two average sized males or three smaller children. Headroom is okay for those under six feet in height, and even though legroom are going to be inevitably tight when the passenger or driver has their seat far back, it's still competitive with this type of car. Overall space for storing is okay, with two front cup holders, an area under the center console to save your phone, a decent sized glove box and door pockets practically capable of swallowing a half litre bottle of water. There's fashionable shelf higher than the glove box, although we found out that items slipped outside of this when cornering or under hard acceleration. Things aren't particularly spacious within the back, with exactly the one cup holder without door pockets. There shouldn't be any major issues parking the Viva Rocks, featuring its compact dimensions meaning it may fit in perhaps the smallest of spaces and garages. Optional rear parking sensors are available to get a small fee. The Vauxhall Viva Rocks's 206 litre boot capacity, with all the rear seats available, lags behind key rivals including the Suzuki Ignis, Fiat Bender City Cross, Kia Picanto X-Line and Skoda Citigo. There's an a large drop involving the loading lip and boot floor, 
As you move the opening is awkwardly shaped. You can fold the spine seats down, in a very 60-40 split, to create a far more competitive 1013 liters of luggage space. However, beware how the seats don't fold completely flat, so that it is tricky to load long items.